Court. For the record, I'm Tim McCabe. I'm director of the Oregon Business Development Department, and I want to thank you for this opportunity to come before you today. Just a little overview on, on our department and, and, and foreign trade. As Katie said, the relationship we have with the Department of Ag and with the Port of Portland is instrumental in our success. Without these two, it doesn't happen for us because if we don't pool our resources, we don't have enough to really do what we need to do for Oregon companies. So it's it's really a, a group, and I know Bill's going to talk about the uh, our, our collaboration around bringing Asiana Air to the port, which took a long time, but is is paying huge dividends, as Katie talked about in the blueberries. So. And I want to congratulate Katie on that blueberry uh, campaign that you've ran for 10 years. I didn't, I didn't know it cured cancer. Yeah. Until, <laughs> but that was a very effective campaign, obviously. <laughs> Only I uh, thought of it. Well, honestly, it does everything. <laughs> so uh, basically, our department, we have uh, our, our foreign trade office is comprised of 12 individuals. We have four uh, trade experts in Portland that help and assist Oregon companies uh, with questions and trade shows throughout the world. Uh, we have an office in Tokyo, uh, and the person that, that heads up that office is named June Mokadai. Uh, June Mokadai was, um, went to the University of Oregon years ago in the late 60s. At one time, uh, he retired as president of Northwest Airlines Japan and approached the state about uh, heading up our office in Tokyo and I have to tell you it was one of the best things that's ever happened to us we had an opening at that time and June came in not needing this job but wanting to make a difference for our state and when you have somebody of that stature representing your state in Japan it's opened up doors and opportunities for us that in the past we had never realized so I, I have to give June um, the uh, respect and kudos he deserves because our trade with Japan, even in these tough times, has been growing as a result of his efforts. We have an office in Seoul, that, uh, and again, we share the office with the Port of Portland uh, in Tokyo, as we do with Mr. Kim in, in Seoul. So again, that partnership enables us to have that representation over there. We contract offices in Shanghai. We have a company by the name of China Hands that does a, a very good job for us. Uh, again, a minimal budget of $60,000 a year to market into to China. Uh, without their help, it wouldn't be happening. And then we have an office, a, uh, a contract individual in Paris, France, that helps us with our European um, exports. Uh, our exports last year for, for my, and they, they're dwarfed by, by agriculture, but nonetheless significant for the 5,000 Oregon companies that we represent. Our exports increased 19% in 2010, uh, particularly around high-tech shipments to China. Uh, that was uh, the real growth for us. Uh, we, uh, we had, our businesses realized 18 billion in foreign trade. That represents 10% of uh, the, the GDP for the state. So it's not insignificant uh, in what we do. Um, we work primarily around trade shows uh, on the export side of things. We uh, were fortunate this year to get a federal grant, a state trade export promotion grant, uh, a small amount of 375000 but combined with our Oregon trade promotion account, uh, that gives us a half million dollars to help companies to realize um, some export opportunities. And I'm just going to read you an excerpt from a weekly report ending last week uh, about a trade show that we're currently help three Oregon companies attend. It's a uh, motorcycle trade show in Milan, Italy. Um, uh, represented by Business Oregon, we assisted three Oregon exhibitors, Bramo Motorsports out of Ashland. We helped them at this show last year where they got a $5 million order for electric motorcycles into Italy. Cox Racing out of Newburgh, Oregon. Uh, they make motorcycle parts for a, different, a number of different manufacturers. And Giant Loop out of Bend. Uh, my point is this, we've got them all the way from Ashland to Newburgh to Bend. These are companies that we're helping. Uh, saddle, uh, Giant Loop makes saddlebags for motorcycles. Uh, this was their first trade show that they've attended. Both Giant Loops and Cock Racing exhibited at this major trade show for the first time. They are each looking to expand European distribution. 
Both were completely amazed with the results after just the first day of the show. Very happy exhibitors. I point this out because what we do is we identify these trade shows. Our, our representatives in, in Europe, we tell them the companies we've got, the products that they make, and ask them to find the venues for us to help market those products. And they identified this show last year. It's been a huge success for Oregon vendors, and it's going to continue to grow. Okay. And our help is very minimal on this. Uh, we give these companies $2,500 to defer their expenses. But without that, they typically wouldn't go to these shows because they're small companies that cannot afford to do this. And without us, they don't even know about the show.